Okay, so this week I'm playing Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Um, I used to rent this frequently when I was a kid. Um, I go to Brian's video shop pretty much, and I, I think I rented it for like one pound fifty. Absolutely loved it. I loved the pre-rendered graphics. Um, it was a lot of fun. And it's one of the best platformers of its day and it really helped other developers kind of breathe life into the Super Nintendo because I believe that um, what they thought could be achieved with the Super Nintendo had been achieved but uh, obviously not because uh, Rare, the company that made this game, were able to kind of utilise the graphics a little bit better by using high silicon graphics workstations, the same workstations um, that were kind of used to create the effects in um, films like Jurassic Park and I believe Terminator 2 as well. Um, who'd have thought? And they were able to render the 3D into 2D and again uh, reinvigorate Donkey Kong. So let's check it out. Let's start a new game here and let's get into the action. So yeah, even though I like Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 a little more, I always have a lot of love for this game. It's a straightforward platform game. All you need to know is that Donkey Kong's banana horde has been stolen and essentially he has to get it back with the help of new character Diddy. You know, and it's great that Rare kind of created a, a new character, you, you know, because it was going to be kind of Donkey Kong Jr., I think, but um, I think Nintendo wanted to kind of update the style, and so Rare come up with little Diddy Kong. So, here we go. The idea is to collect bananas, bash enemies, find hidden bonuses, and generally just have, have some fun as well. And obviously, with all platform games, the levels do get a lot more tricky. There's no double team moves in this one. Uh, we wouldn't see that until Donkey Kong Country 2. But uh, both characters are kind of um, different. we got the big heavy hitter Donkey Kong, who's a little bit slow. And we've got the more agile Diddy Kong here, who can actually cartwheel. And uh, yeah, very, very cool character. But you want to kind of use Donkey Kong to take the heavier enemies out of the way. Um, and essentially just, you know, make it a lot easier. Because Diddy Kong can't take them out, unfortunately. So it's uh, those little things and that attention to detail that makes this game an absolute masterpiece. So yeah, I believe that this was the game that kind of inspired Nintendo to make uh, Yoshi's Island. Or Yoshi's Island, I should say, on the Super Nintendo as well. Another great, gorgeous looking game, which I'll definitely do on <laughs> one of these days, but yeah, beautiful. So yeah, it's, as you can see, this game is so rewarding. There we go, we've got the Rambi token. So if we collect three tokens of the same animal, we'll be warped off to a bonus um, chance where we'll have a chance to pick up more lives. So. There we go, absolutely awesome. Drop onto the ground there, use the power of Rambi. I mean, Donkey Kong getting on Rambi is just as iconic as Mario uh, getting on Yoshi, to be honest. Um, incredible. Right, it's level one done. Let's see what we got. We're Ropey Rampage next. Alright. So, yeah, I'm going to try and go from game from start to finish. I won't be able to do it all in this video, and I will be kind of editing this down. So it's not going to be like a traditional long play video. I've decided I want to try and kind of go in a kind of a different direction for some of my videos because I feel like it would be quite a lot for you to digest. So I'm kind of just going to edit it down so you'll see me do like certain levels and probably fall to my death as I've just done there. You know, I think it just makes things more efficient really. All right, so as you can see, the rain effects on here are really, really cool. Uh, one thing I did love about this game, and I to this day, it's one of my happiest memories, was when I was a kid, I used to play the snow levels when it was actually winter time, when there was snow outside. Um, and I'd have like a nice warm beverage with me. That was always one of my favorite memories of playing this game. So, yeah, I always remember that quite fondly. Really, and it kind of associated, it started my association with Donkey Kong Country playing it in the winter time. So I tend to play these games when it's winter, when it's cold, when you can't go out. Alright. Oh god, what happened there? Oh god. Oh, I took a nasty fall there. <laughs> Alright. Heading to the end. But yeah, this game is not, not always that easy. Um... Uh, I will say some of the secrets are a little bit too cryptic, but well, this was um, back in the day, you know, when we had to rely on guidebooks and things, and it wasn't so obvious where secrets were like that. Like, who'd have thought there'd be a secret like right there? They do things like this where you got to guess. 
kind of kind of guess where the life is or kind of try and see it. I'm actually glad I was able to kind of find it there because my eyesight's terrible these days. But yeah, these animal bodies are so cool. Get rid of the sharks, moving forward. So yeah, to give you an idea of how old this technology is, I'm playing on an actual Super Nintendo. Um, I've got all the old composites set up. Um, I've literally tested the sound because like my my equipment's so fiddly because I use a lot of old technology that any little nick or bump in the lead means the sound cuts out. But it's exciting because it's like when you actually film everything and it's been a success and put, when you pull it together there's no greater feeling you know that's one of my favorite aspects of kind of making these videos is like when everything kind of works you've got all the old technology working and you pull it all together and you know it's a lot of fun oh god oh god whoa 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 slow down there hoss oh god he's pissed off i need on guard i need on guard Look, Clem is running off. God, stay. I forgot to use the Y button where you can kind of lurch forward a little bit. I'm kind of getting a little bit of speed. Oh, God, and now I've definitely lost him. Oh, God. Move, 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 move. Oh, I could not move out of his way. And on God turns up. He turns up right at the end. But yeah, very, very cool game. Alright, so I'm just going to swim down there. Got to be super careful here. Right, we'll pick up the on guard again. And hopefully this time I'll be able to keep him. Okay, boom. Alright. Oh mm -hmm. Oh, hello. And we picked up picked up through these ostrich uh, tokens which means I can actually uh, fly through and I had the chance to pick up more lives. I even got to play this on uh, the Game Boy Color back in the day and oh, I'm kicking myself now because like I just didn't give the Game Boy Color the time that it deserved and I feel really bad for that because it's like it's had some really cool games and this come out for it. Um, did I own it? I'm I'm pretty sure I did. I also own Super Mario Brothers as well, the colour version, and I don't remember this being too bad on Game Boy. The thing about me is I'm easily pleased. Now, I understand that it's not perfect. I understand that obviously Rare had to really cut the game down and things. I get it. I know. Trust me. It's not brilliant, but I think, you know, for someone like me who it's very easily pleased and I said um, as long as I can kind of barely play the game and the controls are just you know fairly playable I can kind of do it you know I don't but I, did, I don't remember it being that bad and the fact that it had some extras in as well so you know I thought it was pretty cool alright so we'll try and get through this as best as we can oh hello But yeah, the soundtrack by David Wise is like second to none. It is one of the best, best tunes ever. You know, Rare just seem to know how to use the system to get the best out of every system they kind of use, really. Okay, right, moving forward now. This is a sign I'm getting old because when I was a kid, I could probably just blast through this and no no problem with now it's getting more and more difficult but we've got an extra life and we made it to the exit all right that's how you do it Funky's flights barrel cannon cannon i remember this one being really sort of difficult this one's got like about i don't know quite a few bonus uh barrels on so you've got to be a real aficionado to find them all. I'm not that skilled to be able to find them all, by the way. But, you know, I might be able to find a few, I don't know. It's just kind of like the pacing of the game is really good because it doesn't just give you the same stuff. It kind of gives you a lot of variety, like these barrels. Like, I know a lot of people say that um, Snow Barrel Blast on uh, this game is like one of the most frustrating levels ever, but... 
Um, that that is kind of true, but I do kind of think it's also a test of skill as well at the same time. Okay, there we go. Roll that thing down. Okay, got. Oh god, I keep doing that. I'm such a noob. All right, into the barrel. Pick up the end. Okay. Cartwheel there. Into the barrel. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Awesome. Come on. Oh. Okay. Now. So, yeah, it's all about pinpoint timing and accuracy and things. Okay. There we go. Go. Ah, we got the Kong letters again. And there we go. A lot of people, like, I think, um, really knocked the second game because um, it made you get tokens to save your game and things like that. But I didn't mind that because it's like, well, they had to kind of evolve the system. Here you can kind of save your game for free, but um, in that game, I think the first time's free, but then you have to pay like two tokens or something. Oh, and here we go, it's boss time. I will admit these bosses are a little... They're very impressive, but they are... I, I want to say very easy. He says. I'm probably going to die, though. <laughs> On them, but yeah. In theory, they're pretty easy. And there we go, and we get the banana. But I believe... I like to think of this as kind of like a technical showcase. You know, and then Rare are able to build on the formula. Like Winky's Walkway. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Just love how each environment is kind of different and each level just does not feel the same. It's Winky. And uh, this is Winky's only appearance, unfortunately, as an animal buddy. I guess he wasn't as popular, <laughs> you know, as the other ones would become, but that's cool. Okay. Straight into a bonus barrel. Morgan Arnus, as I call him. Morgan Arnus. Okay. Jump. I want that thing. Oh, come Oh, I thought I'd fallen down then. I don't know what happened. I thought that was it. I thought my number was up then. And there we are. Cool. All right. Winky's walkway's done. Minecart Carnage. Now, I think, if I'm correct, there's a shortcut on here, but I, I cannot remember how to access it. And do you drop down or something? Oh well, I guess I'll never know now. But yeah, this was a pain for many people back in the day. All of a sudden you're on this minecart and you kind of Sashing out of control. Okay, go. I think there may be two minecart levels on here, I'm not sure. There we go. Halfway point. Okay. Can do this first time, that would be good. Oh god. Okay, jump. That'll be it now, surely. Oh, come on! <laughs> man, oh man, this is, uh, yeah. This is going to take uh, a lot of work. I think I'm going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, come on. I keep banging into that same car. Man. Come on, 
please. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, why? I, I keep banging into that same car. <sighs> Fucking hell. Jump. But I jumped it. Oh, this stage is difficult. I know there's supposed to be a shortcut on this one. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, we avoided him. Jump. 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 Oh, come on! Man, what have I got to do? Really, really hate this one. I've got to pull it, pull it back. No, come on. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Whoa! Jump, jump. It's like a memory game, and I'm just. I can't remember where the enemies are coming from half the time. Okay. Right, jump, jump, jump. There we are. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Finally. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> This is Necky, and these are his nuts. The idea is to let him spit, spit his nuts at you <laughs> and then jump on his head. Like that. There we are. And again. There we are. Nice. Alright. He goes down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop into candies and save my game. Be the best thing to do. Because it's going to get harder from this point on. Um, we have a forest, I think, coming up next. And that one is painful. Um, in the best possible way. Very uh, beautiful looking levels, but also very dangerous at the same time. But luckily, as I said, all the services in this game are free, so you don't have to pay for them. So you can just go back and forth at your leisure. So this will make it easy for myself. We're in Vine Valley now, we're on Vulture Culture. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, it's something there that I want, I think. I can just get up here. Climb, do, climb donkey climb. Oh my god. Alright, this one. Oh, come on, that's awesome. Oh, oh it was awesome, sorry. <laughs> I always struggle with those bonus rounds with their little clap traps or whatever they're called. Clappers. I can't remember. Okay. momentum there, we're like halfway through the stage now anyway, so... Another bonus round, why not? There we are. Okay, the ODM. I think it's probably one of the first times on this stage I've actually managed to get the letters. Yeah, but look how gorgeous these graphics are. I think they may have reused uh, this sort of setting for Donkey Kong Country 2. I definitely recognise the, um, 
the you can sort of see the trees where the trees are in the background that sort of background there we go beautiful all right vulture coach is done treetop town next right there's a bonus thing there bonus thing bonus barrel i should say there we go, I just got it by the skin of my teeth. I went to select Diddy, but nothing worked. Ooh. There's definitely a glitch. Did you see that? I pressed K. And it wouldn't let me do it. So yeah, I think maybe there's a, a wee bug in there. But this copy's really old. I've got Donkey Kong Country. So yeah, it's probably not going to be as wholly accurate as I would like. But... I guess that's how it goes with all these old games, huh? Okay. Ooh. It's like things like that. I've never seen that happen before where donkeys just skidded into the barrel slightly, so. Well, we'll stick with it anyway. We've got it on save, so if anything goes wrong, I can just kind of resell it. Kind of reminds me of the Ewoks village. <laughs> this sort of stage. Oof. There we are. And that's how crafty rare are. They leave a lone banana there and it's like, there could be anything in there. Oh, come on. Lovely. That's what I'm talking about. A few extra bananas. Okay. Oh. Ooh. So close. What the hell? I've got to be careful here. Everything just gets a little bit more difficult at this point. Oh! I want to say that was skill, but it's more luck. Oh, come on! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? That was awesome! I, I was so surprised I made it, but I slipped on the tile at the end. Wasn't bad. Okay. I don't get it. Oh, like, am I not at the end? Oh, oh God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. I panicked for that. I don't even know why I panicked. Timing's just way off with this. If I could just figure this out. But yeah, it's been a long time. Oh God, I've done it again. I keep doing it. I just keep. I don't know why. It's like I see a barrel and it's like jump into it, and I'm like, no, you have to wait. I've got to wait for the timing because the timing's just never correct. Let me through. Right. I've done it again. I swear to God. I had no problem with this when I was a kid, but now I forget about it. It's just like, oh God, what the hell happened there? I went to move and nothing happened. I think. There must be a slight bug. Only very slight though. I am making mistakes, that's fine. But what I am saying is that like it just feels slightly uh, less responsive than it was before. And you saw that glitch with Donkey where you briefly saw him when Diddy got into the barrel and he was in that crazy animation frame. I've never seen that before, so I'm thinking there's some kind of Super Nintendo voodoo at work here. 
and this I can't do this anymore guys I cannot do I can't seem to do that little section with the barrels anymore and I don't know why it's not that difficult so oh man gotta figure this out then come on oh god oh holy sh yeah You know what, we gotta just we're gonna pop in there. Pop into the bonus round, hopefully pick up some bananas. Just to make it that extra life, that'll do me. Oh god. Right, okay. Right, okay. Just clipped it there. Okay. Don't know how I'm going to do this, but oh come on! I was I was too far. I went too far with it. Oh my god! Yikes! Oh. I don't ever remember this again being so difficult, but it really is. This is not an easy game. Here's me thinking, oh, I can just blast through it. It'd be great, but you can't. Oh, my God. Somebody just... Oh, get me through this. Get me past that section. I end up... I don't know what's going on today. There's, like, there's glitches. There's all kinds going on. Okay, try and concentrate now, but it's not going to be easy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong at the end. I think I'll switch to Diddy because Diddy's a little bit more agile. I might be able to st oh, stop him a little better. I don't know. There we are. Okay. Bananas. That's good. Oh, and I've done it. There you go. Holy hell. How I did that, I'll never know. I'll do it. I love how sparingly the um, water levels are used as well. You know, so when you get on them, they're a real visual treat. They're not as kind of overly done as a gimmick. And they do kind of change things up a little bit as well. Careful here. We've got these clams in the way. Oh, I didn't even see that fish there. It was so. I was so concentrating on the top one. So, come on, donkey, my old son. We can do this. We can do this. Oh God, just get lost. It's not letting me pick pick the bloody thing up. There we are. I'm literally afraid to move. I've got to take my time. Try oh god, try not to get hit. These clams keep on taking me by surprise. Alright, okay. Right, we'll try it this time. Cool. Okay. 
god, look at all these shops. Oh, come on! Nice! We got the checkpoint. We're doing well. Okay. Take it easy. Sharks are just crazy. Ooh. Probably not making it easy on myself just going for the exit when really maybe on guards around, but I kind of don't want to take any chances. Oh, well, look at that. I'm, I'm, at, I'm almost at the end now, so it might not be that bad. Oh, come on. I was at the end. Oh, my God. Really? It's going to be one of those, isn't it? They've got a load of croctopuses at the end. So I get through. Oh, come on. Like, my fault. I tried to slip through. Right, I'm just going to quickly save it here, guys, because I've got a feeling that if something goes wrong, I do not want to lose my progress. I'm thinking, I'm hoping this doesn't like ruin the checkpoint for me. Still at the checkpoint. All right, still up here. Oh my god! This is not easy. Okay, great. DK battle. See how I'm just sort of tapping B very sporadically, very carefully. Didn't get the K, unfortunately. Oh, I might be the end now. We should be at the end. Guess not. Come out of this way. Right, this is the end. So, what are these croctopuses doing? Come on, that's ridiculous. The level should be over now. Oh, there we are, thank God. I don't fancy doing that again, that was not easy. Right, okay. Right, next boss. Bumblebee Rumble. Right, is this the B one? This is the one with the B in it. I prefer King's Instinct. Going. This is definitely one of the more challenging ones. There we go. That's how you do it, and Bumblebee Rumble goes down. Not too shabby, not too shabby indeed. I made it to Gorilla Glacier, but I'm going to save it here again. This is where it gets real, guys. A true test. Okay. Oh, I had the wrong one. Okay. This is why you kind of need to save your game before this, because, yeah, this is a, a true test now. I think this is also one of the longest levels in the game as well. <sighs> As you progress, the fall starts to fall. The snow starts to fall faster and faster um, until it sort of covers the screen. God. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> I panicked there. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Look out. Look at the flurries of snow getting faster and faster. More and more erratic. Okay. Okay, we got this. Halfway point anyway. Right, can I get away with this? Can I just get away with just like... Getting through. Right, okay. Oh, come on. I made it, but I guess not. <laughs> My timing was just a little bit off, but it's just about, I guess, being patient. So <laughs> Sorry for that silence there, guys. I was, like, really lost in concentration. I was like, I've got to do this. But yeah, this is not easy. Each level presents its own challenges here. Oh, jump. Come on. Go. Okay. There we are. Two of them. So if I die again, I can just pop in there and use the uh, rhino. Oh, hello. Found a little secret here. Okay. Blind me. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty shocked. <laughs> I got through. Not bad. Slip slide ride. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there's Espresso. All right. So, I want to say Espresso is going to make things a lot easier, but the problem is... Um, the snow is still very prevalent. We'll see how this goes though. We'll see if Expresso can... Oh, help! And there we are. She's got me to a bonus power anyway. I think Expresso is a she anyway. I'm pretty sure. Alright. Oh god, I... I'm such a noob. They actually give me her back and I just screwed it up there. I'm just going to say it's a she. Okay, be careful. Oh. I do remember struggling with this one a lot. I think I'll be alright today. I've got a good feeling about this world. Right, we're halfway through now anyway, so... Just got to outlast, outlast it, I guess. Look, the orangutans are back. Okay, we've got the barrel. We've got another extra life. I'm kind of just being very hesitant here. It's going to be difficult because I can't see what's coming. Okay. Jump. Okay. Right, that should do it now. Should be at the end. There we go. 
All right. There we go. Made it to the end. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I can't believe there's another level to do. Croctopus Chase. So, they're really making me work for my reward here. I've got this uh, another swimming level. Like, Candy and Funky are nowhere to be seen. I've, I've got to get through this then. I'm going to be chased by giant Croctopus or Croctopuses. various points. So if I can just get through this, that'll be nice. I guess the idea is I cannot hang around too much. Right, okay, so almost there. Just gonna keep going. Wouldn't it be great if I could just blitz through this one? Okay, I'm going up. Okay, oh god. just get to a halfway point that would be nice but as I said the further I get the better it's going to be for me really right do not want to lose I think there'd be a halfway point like about now but I'm not seeing one and that's kind of a little bit concerning really yeah, it's fine there we are Right, it's telling me the exit's right away, right right to the right, so. There we go. Nice, nice work there. So I might, I must be at the end then. Fine with me, I'll take it. Okay, keep moving. confused is it just taking me backwards I feel like I'm going backwards here am I going the right way I don't know I seriously hope I am because I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go here I'm really confused yeah this has got to be it this has got to be it I don't ever remember this being this complex though supposed to go up or left or what, it's not very clear. Right. So keep it cool, keep it cool and hopefully try and just get to the end. Oh god, <sighs> he says. This is long and arduous, see what I mean? It's like he's telling me it's this way. Ah, I think it's serious now, I think it is. There's a G. And there we go, I made it to the exit, oh my god. Heart attack, that's got to be it now, come on, let me save my game at least. I've just done f four levels, oh my god. I'm sorry, but, like, where's candy? I have to do another level till I get candy. It's ridiculous. Oh well. Let's just do it. Oh god, I'm really not complaining, honestly. It's just... A bit unexpected, really. Right, jump over that thing. Okay, jump. Oh god. At least we're not in the snow. That, that is one good thing. We're actually in a normal cave, and this looks to be pretty straightforward because I'm at the halfway point straight away. Okay. See, look, it's like the exit's like, it's telling me it's this way, so I've got to be near the end now. God. Just got to hold it together, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so not easy. Alright, okay. 
Come on, ridiculous. Yeah, I don't have anything left, so... Oh, come on! Oh, I can't believe I just fell into that trap. Fucking noob. You think I'd be there now? You think I'd be at the end? But, like... Yeah, it's going to make me work for my reward, unfortunately. I guess I'll just use Diddy here, because he's just a little bit more agile than Donkey is. There we are. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh god. I'm falling for that again. Cool. Alright. There we are. It won't save my lives anyway. Oh god. Took a dump hit there. But we made it to the exit now. At least we got to candy. There we go. How I've done that, I've never know, but let's get to that save point. Alright, so we have a long, long way to go, I think. <laughs> That's all I can say. We're about three quarters of a way through the game, I think. We've got, like, about, I think, another world or so to do. So, yeah, I guess I'll count on next week. Take care, and I'll see you then.